going on everyone? It's Seal Suede here from Diabetic Aesthetics. We are off to one hell of a morning already and uh, I got my boy Trevor, a videographer. We are literally grinding, man. Like we've been up since early in the morning just working on a huge project. So pretty much our 90 second summer shredding transformation video. As you all know, I'm not only competing in the uh, summer shredding physique competition where I got to step on stage, but I'm also competing in the transformation class. So, you know, that's like a lot more than just like going on stage and doing certain poses and being judged on only your physique. It's pretty much where you're like judged on your, your whole fitness transformation, your whole fitness journey for like the past two years or, you know, I'm not like gonna go into detail with that, but it's gonna be freaking epic. So Trevor is pretty much working on a majority yeah. of that video and I will be vlogging for today. And I think I have something super epic planned out, like maybe like a subscriber session. So stay tuned with that. Anyways, stick around, like the video as usual. Thank you for the support fam. Hope you all enjoy this vlog. I haven't felt this good in a while All right, all right, what better way to start off this video other than some food and some macro-friendly food, in fact. But we got some uh, cooked skinless, boneless chicken breast, and we are cooking that on the pan. Just a little tip, by the way, check out these, like, tenderloins. You can get this kind of cut on your boneless, skinless chicken breast, but it is a little bit more expensive rather than just, like, buying them whole in big pieces and cutting them yourself, but it does save some time. So we got lots of that cooking in bulk. Also use, like, you know, one of these little things uh, to put it on top to cook a little faster. And then I also have some zucchini on the grill, or I guess on the skillet. So this is like a low carb snack, little low carb hack right here. I don't want too many carbs in this meal just because my macros are pretty low for today. So what I'm gonna eat is just like some, you know, skillet fried, quote unquote fried <laughs> zucchini, and then uh, some like chicken tenders. So that's kind of like my low carb meal. I'll show you guys when it's all put on the plate. So we're gonna weigh out six ounces of chicken. That's exactly how much I'm feeling right now. I don't want too much. Don't want too little. What is that? 3.2, five. Oh, shit. All right, 6.1. There you have it. And then we're going to go ahead and weigh out the zucchini. All right, here's the zucchini. We are going to do 300 grams. But a boom, 325 grams of zucchini. So check it out. This is the plate. Hopefully it doesn't fog up the camera, but I might put some salsa on top. I'm not sure. I might honestly just eat it plain, but that's how it's looking like, guys. Low carb meal at its finest. Six ounces of chicken, 325 grams of grilled zucchini. You know what? We're going to do something revolutionary here. We're going to put some fat-free Italian dressing on this. I feel like that would be so good. Only 15 calories. Look at the macros on these guys. It is insane. Like I still can't believe it. Honestly, it tastes like regular fat-free uh, dressing, too. All right, boom. Boom. That's like half a serving. So that's like 15, not even 15 calories. It's insane. So I am about to book my tanning for the summer shredding shows and honestly guys like this is such a surreal feeling like <laughs> I can't believe 12 weeks has passed by already like this is nuts I just scheduled my haircut appointment so now I'm doing the tanning this is gonna happen on Thursday pretty sure you just set up a time but yeah that is nuts look at that man look at that that is crazy so I'm gonna get a tan on one of these times I don't know what do you think what time they have time slots from 2:15 all the way up to 6:45. so the show's on friday by the way guys so definitely doing this the day before and then they also have like touch-ups on friday but that's like first come first serve which best believe i'm first coming to get first serving it's kind of weird but all right we're gonna go with 6 30 to 6 45 trevor brought up a really good idea he's like you definitely want to get it then because we're definitely gonna be lifting at the alpha fleet gym before i do not want to be lifting <laughs> with a tan or i don't want to mess it up at all so and i figured the later the better you know it'll, it'll stay on longer for tomorrow's show in the morning Let's do it. 
All right, on my way to the gym, I had to stop by the local 7-Eleven right before my workout. I need to get a pre-workout, man. I'm definitely feeling the diet right now. My energy levels are just like at an all-time low. Super, super tired. I was literally filming all morning with Trevor just for this summer shredding video. But uh, anyways, we are hitting a chest and arms workout. I'll talk about that in a moment, but got myself a pre-workout. Some Rockstar Pure Zero. This is the fruit punch flavor. I am telling y'all, you have got to try this. If you're a fan of the Zero, monsters in my opinion these are better because a they're not only cheaper like almost half the price they are 240 milligrams of caffeine per can a monster i'm pretty sure has 140 and again it's all zero so try these out thank me later you know you'll save some bucks get some more energy and they're pretty much at every 7-eleven so anyway we're gonna go ahead go in for a workout we actually have like a subscriber session going on right now i'll talk more about that when i get to the gym but let's go all right guys, so here at the gym, hitting a chest and arms workout. So we're doing a little bit of a subscriber session. Check it out. This is my man, Chris. Introduce yourself, man. How old? Uh, my name's Chris, I'm 16. How long have you been lifting for? About a year or so. A year? Like, Hell yeah, man. What's your, when did you find my channel? Um, I believe it was this summer. Like this summer? Year. Heck yeah, last dude, heck summer. yeah. We're getting a lift in here with Chris, and um, he uh, came up to me a few weeks ago, and I was like, hey man, like love the channel, and ever since, man, He's made, he's made gains, he's made gains. It's awesome to see people taking advice and like really see them progress in the gym. So I'm getting a lift in with him and we're hitting, like I said, chest and arms. I'll be giving you guys a lot of tips throughout the way, even like, you know, showing you guys how I kind of train with somebody and maybe give each other tips, stuff like that. So stick around, like the video if you want more subscriber sessions. So Chris and I are gonna do heavy sets of three reps. He's got 145 right now. Just gonna hit it for a solid three. Look at that, clean form, clean form, clean form. Good stuff, good stuff. Man, I am honestly beat, guys. Like, this has definitely been one of my lowest energy days. And uh, I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. I don't know if I'm really gonna be able to like push strength gains this workout or even like maintain strength, but I'm gonna do my best. We got 245 pounds from the bar. This is gonna be my last set. So we're gonna do 245 for three, or at least aim to do three without killing myself. All right, let's go. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Chris is going to do his heavy set of 155, so that's a plate and tens on each side for three reps on the spot. Let's go. One. Push it up. Come on. Push it up. Push it up. So I was just telling Chris guys that you know it's awesome to push your strength and uh, really want to go after some heavy weight at times but always make sure to use a weight that you can handle for a fact by yourself with no spotter because you know that's when you're when you're hitting PRs with no spotter that is like pure brute strength okay it's not any help you don't like have any assistance on it you know it's not gonna be like a good day it's just like pure brute strength you know you're progressing by yourself and uh, it's, it's good though to overload the muscle sometimes so hit okay, this heavy set he just dropped it down to 135 and uh, he did a few reps of that which is still like some strength gain so we're doing good Chris is like bro you can't record that it's the warm-up set he's right he's right fuck the warm-up set man we can't put that on YouTube <laughs> Alright, we're on some dumbbell incline bench press. We're gonna go heavy our first set, taking Chris through some uh, reverse pyramid training. <sighs> There we go, Chris has got his heavy set, hitting four to six. So I'm telling Chris that you need to make sure you keep your form tight. Use a weight that you can for a fact use, again, by yourself and keep progressing upon it. Even on your heavier sets of four to six reps, guys, you wanna keep, pick like, you know, a weight you can do some clean reps on. It's not just all about just shitty form and swinging the weight around, so. That was perfect, keep progressing on that, dude. That many sixes, you should be afraid. 
So this is set number two of the dumbbell incline bench press reverse pyramid training style. You guys saw some of the 80s for five reps. Now I'm going with the 80s for a good seven or eight. Then I'll drop it to the 70s for a good like 10 to 12. You're gonna use what? You use 45s, 55? Yeah, 45. So then you'll use 35s and then you'll use 25 for more of a hypertrophy set. So that's how it works. Dumbbell alternating curls. So that was actually my second set, guys. We're gonna do three total sets, reverse pyramid training style. Hit the 55s for four reps per arm, and the 45s, hit it for eight each arm, then I'm gonna drop down to 35 for 12. And uh, he's doing the same thing. We're just gonna keep it rolling. By the way, a lot of you ask for rest times in my heavy sets when it comes to reverse pyramid training. When I do my heavy set of something with four to six reps, I'll rest a good two minutes, maybe even two and a half minutes after that. Then when I drop it down to a set of six to eight plus, I'll rest for maybe like a minute, minute and a half after that. And then for my lightest set, I'll rest no more than like one minute, maybe even 45 seconds. So especially in accessory movements like the dumbbell alternating curl. Like, you know, you know. So Chris was just asking me about the aesthetics cutoffs and a little update on that. So I should be receiving my bulk order of the white aesthetics cutoffs. Hopefully, I'm, I'm crossing my fingers within the next seven to 10 days. And as soon as those are out, guys, like I will do tons of posts about it on Instagram, you know, my Instagram post, Instagram story. So be sure you're following me there on Instagram, uh, diabetic.aesthetics, because they are going to see it first. And I didn't get an insane amount. I really think they're gonna sell out fast. So be sure you're following me on Instagram to stay updated with that. And of course, I will announce it on YouTube, but it's probably gonna be like a day after or like, you know, not in real time because Instagram's a lot more quicker and accessible. So white aesthetics cutoffs coming soon. He'll be the first to snag one. <laughs> and uh, I guarantee you that they're, they're, they're crisp. They're clean, they're clean. There we go. So we got Chris setting up for some weighted dips. Now, he just mentioned that he hasn't done these in a very, very long time, if not ever. And uh, pretty much, if you're not doing weighted dips, then I don't know what the hell you're doing with your life. Like, if you want to build some serious thickness, some serious size, and just overall see serious progression with not only your triceps, but like everything else that will follow that includes pressing strength. Like, let's say even bench press. You do weighted dips, and you get strong as hell on them. Keep progressing on them. Do them once a week. That's how much I like to do it. And uh, keep, you know, adding weight to that dip bar. Not bar. The dip belt. But check it out. He's starting with 45 pounds, which is really, really good. Uh, people always tell me, like, hey, I see a, like, I'm a beginner or even like an intermediate, you know, I've been with it for six months. I can't do weighted dips. I can't do your workouts in general. There's too many compound movements like this. Yes, you can. Just start out with body weight. And if you can't even do body weight, use the assistant machine, progress on the assisted dip machine, move from the assisted dip machine to body weight dips. Once you can do like three sets of 10 solid reps, body weight, add like 10 pounds, 15 pounds to the dip belt. Then you're essentially on weighted dips and you keep progressing guys. So you can still do this as a beginner, just sub it to your training level. So you hit 45 pounds, right? How many reps you get? How much, 35? Three. Heck yeah, dude, you haven't done it in like <laughs> a year. Yeah, the last two one's years. a grinder though. Yeah, dude, it's all right, progress on it, you get better. Definitely don't go to failure on these. <laughs> That's like a big tip too, guys. When it comes to weighted dips or like a huge compound movement like this, you do not want to train for absolute failure. You're gonna set yourself back because it's tough. It's tough. You want to save some energy in a tank for the rest of your workout. This is my second set. I hit two and a half plates for a good five reps. Only two plates for like eight or reps or so. Up, bro. See you, man. Solid workout, man. He'll be, <laughs> you guys will see him again, man, and uh, he'll be making gains. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. It was a good give me, one, man. Uh, give me two weeks, I'll put on 10 pounds. Absolutely, bro. <laughs> Hey, I'll see you, bros. It was a banger workout. Uh, all right, so we just got done with our cardio. At least, I'm assuming so. I've not checked yet. You guys already know, like, my ritual slash tradition. I don't check cardio until I feel like I really have hit 500 calories. 
Oh, baby, 524 calories, so we're a little above our goal of 500. Guys, I've been doing 500 calories burn of low intensity steady state cardio for literally the past 15, maybe 16 days, but that's how honestly I've been able to get like, like speed up my fat loss, which is not necessarily a good thing. What the? Okay. All right, so that's not necessarily a good thing, but you know, I would have liked a few more weeks of dieting uh, for you know the competition and before stepping on stage so i had to think take things into my own manner in a way and you know do my best but anyway 500 down the hatch it's nighttime right now no excuses we're getting it done even though i'm tired we're almost there and uh man i'm really looking forward to just chilling having a good cheat meal oh man you guys already know i'm gonna be recording all the good food and uh all the fun times at texas but all right guys, so it's currently the next morning, about to step on the scale, do my morning weigh-in. I'm feeling damn good today. I'm just like really, really feeling like the diet is finally starting to kick in and work. So, uh, let's see what we're aiming at. <laughs> this is like the most stressful yet rewarding feeling ever, especially when you get up around your little weight. And so, let's do it. Ah, oh, come on. 157 pounds. It is a brand new low end. That is freaking insane. Oh my god. Y'all ready? Y'all ready, family? Fwa! Stay ready. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. This is the lightest I have ever been. Honestly, the leanest I have ever been. Like, I think I included a physique update in this uh, video, but fucking A, man. I'm so happy, honestly. And you know what, if I had like three more weeks until stepping on stage, I really, really think I could have pushed it to uh, like 153, 152 guys, but it is what it is and I look great. And honestly, like I think this is the best I've ever looked in terms of like muscle mass and I don't know, I'm happy. <sighs> like this is the morning. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, this is the morning, guys. I'm like, I still... I still think I look pretty full. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, but... At the end of the day, I'm proud about it. Like, I'm happy. And we're still, like, haven't done our, like, peak with carbs. Gotten a tan, you know, doing all that extra stuff. Even shaved my body. Like, I still got shaved. So I haven't done all that, like, extra fluff work to, like, look 1% or 2% body fat leaner. So we're doing good. And um, I really hope you all enjoyed this. I had Trevor working on the, the uh, summer shredding, you know, transformation video that will hopefully be played if I get chosen to be one of, one of like, the six or seven people for finals. Uh, you guys will see. We're going to be recording in Texas a ton getting tons of content hopefully collaborating with other youtubers you know etc it's gonna be nuts i've never collaborated with anybody in my life i've never networked with anybody like i've gotten to where i am today with almost 80,000 subscribers without one shout out no networking no <laughs> collaborating which I'm, I'm happy about like you know i've built a family and a community and i just can't wait to like surround myself with other people doing the same thing and like who are better than me and i can learn from them and it's gonna be such a great time and to like this video by the way please give this video a like and share it. If you want to see the 90 second video that Trevor made, he finished it last night. Fucking epic. This is gonna break YouTube. Literally, it's so good. My brother saw it. How good is it? Far. <laughs> Far. <laughs> With an RK. Far. RK. Far. No, but in all serious, like, yeah, give the video a it's like really if good. you guys want us to upload it tomorrow for Wednesday's upload. And uh, yeah, man, we, we, we're making gains. We're looking good. We're looking good. But, um, Great kill on stage. Thank you for the support, family. It truly means the freaking world. Give the video a like again if you want to see that video. Comment down below. Love talking to every single one of you. Subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned, baby, because we coming. We coming to Texas. See you guys in the next video.